Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you 10 five minute craft ideas inspired by emojis. If you like emojis, click that like button and comment down below your favorite emoji. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first DIY will be an emoji Orbeez light. For this one, you will need some sort of container. I'm going to use one of these glass containers. And if you can find these little sports bottles, those would work great for this also. I drew a face on the container and then colored it in with some Sharpies. I'm going to use one of these party lights. I will leave a link down below for these. Make sure that the light you use is okay for use in water. I'm just going to use some hot glue to glue the light to the cap. I found these yellow Orbeez online. I will also leave a link down below to these. I poured some of the Orbeez into the container. You can twist the light on and off and then just place the cap into the container and there you have your Orbeez light. The second project will be some super fun emoji slime. To start, I'm going to use a ping pong ball and with a pin, I'm going to poke a hole in the center. Then I placed it on a wooden skewer and I painted it yellow. Once the paint had dried with some Sharpies, I drew on a face. Here is what my ping pong ball looks like at this point. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut the ping pong ball in half. And here is mine once it was cut in half. Now to make the slime, I'm going to use some white Elmer's glue. I'm going to add some yellow acrylic paint to the glue and stir it together. To that, I'm going to add some liquid starch and I'm just gonna slowly add it until it starts forming slime. Here is how my slime turned out. Now you can add your slime to the ping pong ball and you have a fun way to play with your slime. The next DIY will be Emoji Lip Balm. For this one, I'm going to use one of these clear plastic portion cups. The next thing that you will need is some Epsom salt. In a Ziploc bag, I place some Epsom salt along with a few drops of yellow food coloring. I shook it up until it was all mixed together. I went online and printed out an emoji face that I wanted to use and I cut it out so it would fit inside the cup and I taped it down. I drew on the face with some Sharpies and colored it in. To 
to fill in the white, I'm going to use a white painter's pen. If you don't have one, you can also use some acrylic paint. You will need a lip balm or bead container that fits into the cup. I found these at Walmart. I poured the yellow sand into the cup. And then I took the lip balm container and I placed hot glue around the cap and then placed that into the cup. Once the glue cooled down, I turned it over. To make the lip balm for this one, I'm going to use one tablespoon of beeswax along with one tablespoon of coconut oil, and I'm gonna melt that in the microwave on 10 second increments until it is fully melted. To tint this one, I'm just going to use a piece of lipstick. I put that in the mixture and stirred it until it was melted. And that's all there is to this easy emoji lip balm. The next two DIYs will be different versions of this one. One will be a liquid emoji and the other one will be an Orbeez one. And I will show you different lip balm recipes for those. For the Orbeez one, I just did the same thing as the prior one. I went online, printed out an image and colored it in with some Sharpies. I'm going to use some of the same Orbeez as I used in the first DIY, and I just poured some of those in the cup, almost to the top. I added a little bit of water to the Orbeez. I'm also going to use the same type of lip balm container as before, and hot glue that the same way. For this lip balm recipe, I'm going to use some Kool-Aid. I added a little bit of Kool-Aid to a cup along with a couple drips of water. I'm going to add some Vaseline to the Kool-Aid and mix that together. I place the lip balm mixture into the lip balm container and that is how you make this Orbeez Emoji Lip Balm. And the other lip balm will be the Emoji Liquid Lip Balm. I did the same thing. I printed out an emoji face and I colored that in with Sharpies and the white paint pen. I filled the cup up about three quarters of the way with water, and then I added some yellow acrylic paint and stirred that together. I then poured the mixture into the emoji cup. Obviously you can do it in the emoji cup, I just chose to do it in a separate cup. I hot glued around the lip balm container and secured it to the cup, just like in the last two. To make the lip balm for this one, I'm going to melt down a chapstick and I just placed that in a microwave safe container and microwaved it on 10 second increments until it was fully melted. To tint this one, I'm going to use a piece of lipstick and I just mixed that in until it was all melted. Pour it into the lip balm container, let it set for a few minutes, and that is how you make this liquid emoji lip balm. The sixth DIY will be emoji glow-in-the-dark room decor. For this one, I started by cutting out circles that were about two inches in diameter. I will be using some glow-in-the-dark puffy paint, and I just went around the entire circle with the yellow glow-in-the-dark puffy paint. face on this one, I'm going to use some red glow-in-the-dark puffy paint 
to make the heart eyes. And to make the mouth, I'm going to use some gray glow-in-the-dark puppy paint. You can use a toothpick to help shape the puffy paint. And depending on how many you want to make, just cut out enough circles and repeat the same process with the yellow and then the different colors of glow-in-the-dark paint to make the faces. And here are mine as they are glowing in the dark. Now to turn these into room decor, you can use some yellow ribbon or thread and place each of the emojis on there. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the little mini clothespins and I'm going to glue the emojis to those. And that's all there is to this easy emoji glow-in-the-dark room decor idea. The seventh DIY will be an emoji pen. For this one, I'm going to use these little mini styrofoam balls. I just started placing those on a wooden skewer. After all five of them were on there, I just painted them. And here are mine after they were painted. I used some puffy paint to create the faces. I'm going to use the ink from one of these ballpoint pens. I placed each of the emojis onto the ink and hot glued the bottom to secure it in place. And now you have a fun emoji pen. The eighth DIY will be a super easy emoji keychain. I'm going to use a lid from a bottle and trace around that. Then I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper, set that over the top and tape it down. Using the circle as my guide underneath the parchment paper, I'm going to hot glue all in the circle. Once the glue had cooled down, I removed it from the parchment paper. I colored the front and back with a yellow sharpie. I drew on a face with some sharpies and colored it in. I'm going to use a needle to poke a hole in the top. Where 
I just made the hole, I'm going to put a jump ring through that hole. I'm going to add a keychain to the jump ring and close it up. And there is a fun new way to make an emoji keychain. The ninth DIY will be a super easy mini notebook. For this one, I just went online and printed out an emoji that I wanted to use and I cut it out. Now I'm going to make the notebook. For this, I placed each of the emoji images side by side, leaving a little gap in the middle and I traced around each of the emojis. I drew two lines on the side that look like this. Then I cut those out and this is what you should have once they're cut out. I used a stapler to staple in the middle. Glue the emoji images to the front and the back of the notebook. And there is the super easy mini emoji notebook. The last DIY is mini edible emojis. For this one, you are going to need some yellow gumballs. To make the faces, I'm going to use these candy decorating pens. I just used the candy pens to start drawing on the faces and I did have to go over them a couple of times so they were fully colored in. Once the faces are drawn on, that's all there is to these easy mini edible emojis. I hope you guys enjoyed all 10 of these DIYs. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. Also, if you have any future video suggestions, leave those in the comments. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.